Hello guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Today we do have actually a pretty awesome new announcement by Hot Toys. I had been falling behind um a little bit uh with some of my videos. I never made a preview on the Batman with Armory 2.0 one. I was I don't know, I guess I was just getting lazy. I started to make one, but I never finished it and they did release her but i don't really care that much but this announcement is pretty cool so of course it is kit fisto from revenge of the sith so yeah let's get into it as you can see it looks pretty awesome we'll talk about that pretty cool head skull once we uh, get to that you can see the boots there hopefully those are maybe like Actually, they probably aren't. They're probably pleather, but maybe they're maybe there's something else. I don't know though. But yeah, you can see that those crazy tentacles or whatever you want to call them. The robes look pretty good. Can't really remember how much it looked like exactly what his robes looked like, but those are probably accurate. Bonus forearm armor from Star Wars: The Clone Wars animated series. That's pretty cool. Looks like we do have a new tease of a 2.0 Mace Windu. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and, he <coughs> excuse me, guys, I'm sick, so forgive me. <laughs> uh, here we can talk about the head sculpt. Detailed recreation, recreation, whatever, of the tentacle tra tresses, traces, I don't know. So, yeah, this head sculpt looks really good. Let's just quickly get a picture actually we'll just swap to a comparison real quick okay and here we have the comparison going on and well i mean <laughs> there's not much to say this head sculpt looks like completely spot on like wow i've always really did a great job on this head sculpt <coughs> oh sorry guys um like I don't think I really have any complaints at all. <laughs> this looks like perfect. It looks really, really good. I know the right picture is a little... <coughs> Sorry, guys. I know the right picture is a little blurry, but, you know, you can still see them. And wow. They did, like, perfect down to the bone. <laughs> this is, like... I think, you know, like, for an alien figure that Hot Toys has made, the best head sculpt ever out of any alien. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I'll try to hold in some more coughs. So if you hear me start to talk like this, I might just be holding in coughs. Uh, but yeah, for, like, an alien figure, I think this is the best head sculpt ever for one of the for any of those. I think this head sculpt is just completely spot on, just all the way. So, you also can see all the wrinkles and skin texture and everything, that looks really great, and the, uh, the, uh, tentacles or whatever, tendrils, I don't know, whatever you want to call them, uh, they look really good too, you can see all the skin texture on those, and all that. All the paint apps look really good. His eyes look very alive, like, you know, like an alien sort of thing. Um, so, that's pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah. Everything just looks amazing. I mean, this is, like, if you count this as, like, a normal head sculpt, I think this is probably one of their best head sculpts they've ever done, to be honest. Uh... It just looks really good, like, completely spot on, fully, like, I don't, I actually don't think I have really any complaints of this head sculpt. You can see also those, like, leather straps or whatever on the tendrils or tentacles, I don't know what they're called. Uh, those look pretty good too, um, but wow. Look at, like, the open mouth, like, the teeth. They're very nicely sculpted, too. The lips look good. 
the that like wrinkle below his mouth, that like line, that looks really good. This head sculpt is truly amazing. I think maybe you could call it perfect. I'd usually say, you know, probably like no head sculpt's gonna be perfect, but maybe I'm proved wrong on that because this looks insanely good, so amazing head sculpt, wow. And here we are back, guys. Again, this head sculpt completely spot on in my opinion. Um, I I like wasn't a hundred percent sure because you know I don't always have a perfect image of Kit Fisto in my mind. But then I saw that picture. Uh, it was like the first picture there, and it just looks so good. And as you can see, these tentacles, they look really good too. All the like wraps holding them together. It all just looks really great, so, yeah. And the robes look really good, too. I guess, you know, I'll quickly just pull up a picture to see how accurate that is, those robes are. Yeah, they look good, but, um, this is the picture I use for the head sculpt. As you can see, completely spot on. Uh, <coughs> I'm sorry about that, guys. Uh, maybe they could be a little darker. Just like a little bit. Let me try to find some better looks at it. Okay, yeah, from this it looks good. From this picture, uh, yeah, it looks, they look good. The robes do look good. And I guess that belt is accurate, actually. I saw that, the belt on the figure first, and I was like, that looks a little weird, but looks like it is accurate, as you can see here. So yeah, the, the robes look pretty good. Maybe from certain lighting and angles, you could say that they could be a little darker. Just like a little bit, though. But I know from this lighting, from that picture, they look they look pretty good. Maybe a little darker though, but but yeah, it looks good. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys. Uh and here's his base. Looks like it is one of the normal ones, but that probably is a sticker you can put on if you want to just like the Jedi Temple basically, I I guess. To give it a little bit of pizzazz. Uh I like this picture. I like this one. I feel like Hot Toys recently hasn't really been doing, like, photography with, like, you know, the announcement pictures. Release pictures, yeah, but announcement pictures, not so much, though. So. I like that they are doing that here, and it looks pretty good, as you can see it is in the in Palpatine's room when they're fighting him with Mace Windu. That looks good. Maybe someday they'll get the two other guys, so you can have them all up against Palpatine. But I feel like you don't really need them. You almost didn't even need Kit Fisto, but it's really cool to see him now. And the hands look really good, actually, now seeing a better look at them. The, the like, veins or whatever, all the, like, wrinkling and s saggy skin. <laughs> it all looks really good. And the sculpting and everything. And everything. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. Wow. Alright, wait. I just wanna... From, like, a front on view like the picture yeah wow <laughs> wonderful job hot toys on this head sculpt i'd say that i'm a picky guy with head sculpts but you can't be picky with this this is amazing truly truly amazing <laughs> of course the lightsaber is uh uh photoshopped here it's not actually that bright but to be honest now that i have kenobi vader Everybody, so many people say that, well, like, m multiple people say that the USB-charged lightsabers, like, aren't bright enough or too dim. I think that it looks great on him, actually, to be honest. I feel like people are being a bit too harsh about it. So, I like the USB-charged lightsabers. Maybe they could be, like, a little brighter, but they're still pretty decently bright, so. I like them. <coughs> Uh, but yeah, the robes look good. They look nice. Uh, and of course you can see that iconic hilt design there. 
And yeah, the hands look good. They, like I've said, they look very funny, kind of very big, of course, like an like an alien kind of. And here again is the uh, Clone Wars. Uh, what do you call these? Like van braces or whatever. <laughs> they look good. It's nice that they include those. You know, even if this is a figure from Revenge of the Sith, it's nice that they still include these if you want to have them like that. Same with Mace Windu, that's nice that Hot Toys does that. Here's everything he comes with, so, of course, you know, he comes with the head sculpt, the, all the clothes and everything, the robe, which, uh, yeah, looks good, if I didn't say that before, the robe does look good. Uh, they're just showing some close-ups. USB charged lightsaber, good, nice, the forearm, the van brace from the Clone Wars. Oh, excuse me, guys. I kind of burped. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hands. Not bad. Uh, and yeah, just showing those again. Um, and yeah, the base. Uh, which it was right. It was. It is just the sticker. I think this announcement is, to be honest, maybe one of the best in a while, because that head sculpt is spot on completely like wow hot toys knocked it out of the park with this one it looks insanely good i mean very nice head sculpt well done hot toys like that's just a perfect head sculpt you can't really complain much about that or really at all kind of look at that wow there's like more detail on the head sculpt than there is in the movie. Uh, but yeah, the head sculpt, perfect. The robes, like I said, maybe could be a little darker. Um, a little darker brown. Uh, they still look good, though. Um, the USB charged lightsaber, of course, is good. And yeah, I think the highlight, though, we all know, is that head sculpt. It's such a crazy head sculpt, too. You know, you don't usually get alien jedi figures from hot toys so it's fun to finally see and you know of course they did tease this some time ago so it's nice to see they're finally showing it off and announcing it so i think this is an amazing figure incredible figure hot toys has done an amazing job here uh so yeah good job hot toys well done so yeah, comment down below what you guys think of this figure, if you like it, obviously you probably do. If you're a Kit Fisto fan, I didn't watch the Clone Wars, so I don't really know it much, but if you are, then you're gonna absolutely love this figure. I mean, this figure is so amazing, that head sculpt is really spot on. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, happy collecting, and God bless.